Oh, man, it was amazing because I remember the previous year, you know, in AAA, I got called up for AAA for the playoffs World Series, and David Johnson was my manager, and I pitched well, and he said wherever he managed the following year, he's taking me with him. But then George Bamber resigned that November, and Davey got the job. And I remember calling Davey, just joking with him. I said, remember what he told me? He goes, oh, yeah, you're definitely making a team. But all through spring training of 84, after every start, the writers would come to me and say, hey, the front office, meaning Frank Cashin and uh, Joe Michael guys say, you're probably going to go back to W or AAA because of your age. And then I would run into Davey's office like a little kid and say, Davey, you should go back to the minors. He said, don't worry about it. You're going to make the team. And I didn't find out until the last day of camp that I made the team. And once I made the team, I was very proud. I remember sharing that moment with my dad, who it was initially his dream that became my dream. And once I finally made it, and first I thought, am I ready? Because I'm only a year and a half out of high school. And the guys that I'm going to be facing, you know, Pete Rose, Mike Smith, Dale Murphy, Andre Dawes, all these guys. So it was a little bit of intimidation fight there, but I think, what really helped me was my dad told me, just enjoy it, try to stay healthy, and don't pay attention to the names on the back of the jersey. Because I was a big fan of the game and grew up in Tampa. Obviously, I was a big Reds, um, big Reds machine fan, watching him explain training. And so when I got the pitch, I remember my first game in Houston. I won that game. I went five minutes, and my dad asked me after the game, what do you think? I said, well, I should win a lot of games. And then my very next start at Wrigley Field, I got knocked out in the third inning. He goes, well, son, how do you feel? And I'm like, well, I don't know if I'm ready. So that quick, I got humbled. And so I just tried to take everything in stride, learn as much as I can. Mike Torres, who was on our team at the time, taught me a lot about setting up hitters, reading bat speed. He played a big part of it. And I tell you, things happened so fast, and I was very mature off the field. On the field, I, I think I was ready, especially once I got to the all-star break. I thought that um, I did belong. But as far as off the field, I was, I was just learning as I went. It was totally different than what it is now. We have classes and they prepare guys. So I just kind of learned. Obviously, made a lot of mistakes. But I just learned as I went.